Wire and bead bird's nest jewelry is a very popular current trend. Follow this tutorial presented in partnership with all3beadedjewelry.com and make your own delicate pair of earrings. Hi everyone. To make the bird's nest earrings, you're going to need your cutters, your flat nose pliers, and your round nose pliers if you decide uh, not to use the jump ring. You'll need some silver or just some wire. I'm using silver 24 gauge. You'll need your earring hooks and you'll need three beads. To start, I'm just going to use it right off the roll. You're going to take your wire and you're going to thread your beads. Once they're threaded, you want to put them together and I'm going to twist the wire. Around to secure it. Twenty four gauge is really easy to work with as well. So now you have your three little eggs, and then what you want to do is you want to start rolling your beads on the wire to start forming the nest. And there's no hard or fast rules to this. You want to do it in the circular motion. Doesn't need to be so neat because you want it to look like a bird's nest. And you'll just continue to do this until you get the effect that you like. I think that's looking pretty good. Now you want to take your wire out. You want to cut a fairly long length. I'm cutting about eight inches. So we're just going to snip the wire. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to thread the wire Between those two beads, right there, down. I'm going to hold it so it attaches, and I'm going to do that three or four times. Place them next to one another. Now I'm going to run it to between the next set of beads and we're going to repeat that process. You can just use your fingers to move it. And then again. And to the last set of beads. And we're going to repeat. And you can see how that works out. I think I'm going to do one more. The 
And you can see in the back where it's come up, what I want to do is I want to go through that bead pull that through and then we're going to cut and we're going to bend that down you may need to use your flat nose pliers just to bend that down and get it out of the way and there we have our little bird's nest. Once we're complete with our little bird's nest, we want to turn it into an earring. You could use a jump ring and it would swing freely. But as you can see, this ear wire is this way. And I want the bird's nest to stay pretty stationary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own uh, ear wire here. So what I've done is I've taken the, the piece that was left over, I'm going to thread it through the ear wire, I'm going to find the center and bend this down, then I'm going to twist over, making a little loop there, and you can make this as big or as little as you want, and then you want to start to twist And twist and there it will stay stationary this way so I want it forward and then I want to take my bird's nest and I want to attach these wires so I'm just going to go through I'm going to turn it to make sure that's where I want it. I think that looks good. And I left it a little rough on purpose because it is a bird's nest. I don't, I don't want it to, to be so perfect. I'm going to continue twisting to secure. I'm going to take my clippers, my cutters, cut those ends. And then I'm going to wrap it around and twist again make sure it's forward we're going to trim off that end and use the flat nose pliers just to push it down so there's no rough edges and there we have our bird's nest earring <laughs>